Dykes on Disc presents Grow Where You're Planted by J. Gabriel. Chapter 6 Recipe 4 Anna woke to the sound of the city bus outside her window. <laughs> location in the downtown of Orlando was terrific. The trade-off was a tiny one-room apartment just steps from the bus stop. She turned her head to the left so that she could see the sofa, which was almost arm's distance from her bed. T.C. was not there. Gone. Anne had hoped for more from their meeting last night. A one-night stand would have been fine. She so missed being held. T.C. finished serving fellow residents at the Orlando Homeless Coalition, where she lived, for now. She made herself a plate to go and was off to meet Charles. He had called and wanted her to help move stuff in Jay and Jean's yard. The temps would be in the sixties today, so working outside would be bearable. Her mind kept popping in thoughts of Anne. She knew Anne was expecting more last night. She enjoyed the indica they had brought back to Anne's from the cannabis cooking class. She enjoyed Anne's conversation and her scent. What was that? Lavender? She did not, though, want one more empty night of fun. She, too, wanted more. Jay emerged from the bathroom, wisps of smoke following. Jean was sitting at the breakfast bar, sipping some fine Colombian and kicking butt on level nine of Super Sugar Saga. Jay watched her for a few moments and smiled. I love you, she said. Jean paused, looked up and responded, I love you too. She then went back to her game and Jay pulled out her phone. The phone on Ant's bedside table sounded. She picked it up. The display read, Jay. Good morning, Jay. Hello, Ann. How goes it this fine morning? Just woke up, so great. Super. Want to come over for brunch? Uh, well, let me have some coffee and I'll call you back. No worries. Get your coffee on, girl. With that, she rang off. The stage was set. Let the play begin. Jay hummed as she munched on a piece of melon from a dish that Jean had placed on the counter. Mmm, she moaned, juice dripping from her lips. Jay bent over and placed her face between Jean and her tablet. Jay kissed Jean. Mmm, Jean said, melon lips, my favorite. Jay gave a playful squeeze to Jean's one good boob. Jean patted Jay's butt. That's how their comfortable interactions went. After seven years, they had developed their own way of communicating. It involved lots of touching, saying I love you all day, every day. It worked for them and kept them connected. Knock, knock, knock. There was a loud knocking at the kitchen door. It was Charles. Hey, ladies, he yelled. I found the source of that nasty smell. You want to come see? To be continued. Oh, 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 oh.